good afternoon. Today is Saturday and I wanted to first thank you so much for all of your supportive and kind comments. So many nice comments to the last video about our engagement. Yay! Thank you for your support and all the nice things you said and I really loved when you were getting excited too and you're like oh my gosh and you know I could feel all the emotion and the um, responses so thank you for your support. Um, um, all of our family knows now that we're engaged and most of our coworkers at work so yeah we're not planning to like rush and have a, um, a wedding super soon we want to take our time and save up money and then pay for everything in cash and enter our marriage debt free so we're thinking um maybe wait two years or so which i guess isn't that long but to some people it seems long so i don't know we're just gonna wait there's no rush and we'll likely do something pretty small family maybe a few friends in a public venue um like alice keck memorial gardens or the sunken gardens at the courthouse um those public venues tend to be more affordable and um they're beautiful we have so many nice spaces here in santa barbara I think that can be an issue actually is all these brides come from LA and they start like booking places around here and then I'm like hey hey <laughs> we live here but we'll do something uh low-key nothing nothing fancy so yeah um that'll be later on so today I actually did head out to anthropology I returned some items that I bought online and that was it didn't buy anything new um which was good for me and then Andy made this awesome looking peach crisp because he's been wanting to make one so or excuse me an apple crisp sorry it's an apple crisp he used a bunch of those green i think granny smith apples and when he pulled it out of the oven it looked so good it was bubbling you know you could see it like okay it's not that hot it's kind of warm now but it was all bubbling and stuff and looked really good oh and the flowers are still here from sunday um we've kind of trimmed them a bit so that they'll be a little bit shorter and keep eating their little little flower food so yeah um yeah just uh back to kind of normal this week with work and um uh, just the usual stuff so so i just listed some of my old yarn for sale on ebay i've got this yarn it's pretty much all malabrigo stuff that i'm selling it's older types and then I was just using this white piece of paper to take pictures of the yarn against the white background I've got all my old Mad Tosh Madeline Tosh yarn um, that I bought and I do have some special stuff that I'm hoping people will be excited by um, which one is this from? I'm not sure, but I used to join their sweater club online where you could get special colorways and a special weight that's made only for people who are in that sweater club. So, anywho, um, we've got some neat stuff. This is like one of my favorites. I really love this color. I was gonna make a sweater out of it, but then I stopped, so. <laughs> um, this one's really cool too, actually. This green is awesome really nice and then I've got like a ruby red one I like the jewel colors personally I like this blue which I have a ton of I have a ton of that blue um let's see it what's it this one's pretty too though that kind of ultraviolet almost reminds me of my ring but eh. let's go down one where no actually I really like this one it's super soft the misty alpaca it's not Mantosh. it's just um I think the brand is misty alpaca but it's super soft so got that this is the red that i like but i also like this one too <laughs> it's ruby red yeah i've got my mad tosh collection going on this one it says december 2012 so yeah it's kind of an old one um so it might maybe it'll be popular online when i sell it maybe people will be like whoa that's really cool and you can't get that anymore so Anywho, I am going to slowly list my yarns for sale. Um, I started out small with these ones. Um, I don't really sell much on eBay. <laughs> I barely sell anything. So I think um, 
I'll just start small with one or two skeins and then when my like feedback gets better on eBay and people say okay she's a reputable seller and trustworthy um, and then my like reviews and ratings go up and then I'll sell the larger lots of the Mad Tosh or Madeline Tosh yarn so I think it'll be good to kind of start small first so yeah selling some of this stuff that's just been sitting around I haven't done anything with it hi boys it is Saturday night. We um, are getting ready to watch up. I've got the case down here. I've been wanting to watch this because we had so many elements of up recently. Um, with the proposal. That's the our adventure book that Andy filled out and proposed with. And then we saved some mementos from that day, like the cups we drank our Martinelli cider out of the little container he got for the ring. And then this is something he got me for my birthday this year. It says, love is the greatest adventure and there's Carl and Ellie as kids. So we've got a little bit of some up things here. <laughs> and we've also got some artwork I got Andy. Um, was that for your birthday when I got you the I Lava You? The, t the yes. volcano creatures? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was from a Disney short too. So we actually need to find that and bring it in here and like decorate it somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think we're gonna play Jenga. I was looking at the games we have because um, I sometimes get a bit distracted during movies. So um, yeah, maybe we'll play Jenga. I think Uno it's probably better with larger groups instead of just the two of us. Um, Candyland. It'd be kind of cool if we had Mousetrap, actually. I think that'd be a fun game to get. And then we have two Monopolies, because Andy's got his Simpsons one, and I've got my Disney Pixar one over here. And Stitch is just watching us, seeing what we're up to. <laughs> so that is what we are going to do tonight, is play a game and watch a movie. Good morning. Today is Sunday, and I am going to bake some scones this morning, these maple oatmeal scones. I actually prepped the dough last night um, and then I kept them in the fridge because I knew in the mornings I'm not in the mood to um, really do any cooking and I just woke up so I look like I just woke up. And I took my ring off because I'm gonna be handling dough and I don't want it to get all gross. Um, anyways, yes, I just got up, gonna roll the dough out, make the icing, and then we'll have some scones with our orange juice from last weekend's Farmer's Market. Um, yeah, and I actually did make some Barefoot Contessa recipes on Thursday this past week. I made her turkey meatloaf and the roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, so I've been trying a few of her recipes. The turkey meatloaf was not very flavorful. I know that it's healthier to have like ground turkey or ground chicken instead of actual red meat or beef but it does not taste the same at all so i kind of thought the meatloaf was a little bit bland um even though a lot of people seem to like it so anywho now we've got a bunch of extra meatloaf in the fridge even though i cut the recipe in half some of her recipes yield a lot like this dough i've got a ton of dough what am i gonna do with all these scones i'm gonna have to bring them into work Anyway, so I'm going to take this dough, I'm supposed to roll it out and then cut it into little three inch shapes, but I don't have a roller and I don't have a little cutter thing, so I'm just going to figure it all out myself. We're moving along with the scones. We're using the top of a glass to get it into that three inch round shape that the recipe said. We're kind of winging it here because their recipe says basically use a paddle stand mixer, like a KitchenAid, which we don't have. And it created so much dough that we ended up actually having two separate uh, bowls last night. So we had two bowls with the dough and the wet stuff. And we were just trying to mix it and trying to make do and trying to get by. And then this morning, I don't have a, um, a roller. So we've just been laying all the dough flat. And then where's the cup that we're using? That's the cup that we're using to um, get it into those three inch rounds. Um, so we're just trying to figure this out as we go here, but eventually we'll get like a mixer, a stand mixer. Eventually we'll have like a roller, a rolling pin, but for now we're just, we're just figuring it out. Here are the scones fresh out of the oven. I just took them out. They're in for 25 minutes. Um, yeah, they're looking big. Well, some of them are bigger than others. These were the last ones that were a little bit assorted in size. Um, this is the one that I prepared, this tray. 
And then Andy prepared these two trays. So we were both doing it together, which was fun. And now I need to prepare the glaze. For the glaze, I use confectioner sugar, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. I'm gonna use that new vanilla extract that we just got from Penzi's in the mail. Um, and then see how that is. And I know the recipe says, you know, you gotta let the scones cool a bit. And then the colder the scones are, the thicker the um, glaze is. So if we want thick glaze, I might need to let these cool a bit. But I'm kind of getting hungry. It's like 9.30, I haven't had breakfast. I haven't had my oatmeal. I'm waiting to get these scones. So I'm just gonna put together the glaze. I've just got everything here because it's only those three items. Um, pretty sure I'm gonna use the rest of this maple syrup. So <laughs> I use a lot of maple syrup for this. So I'm just gonna put this together and then hopefully let the scones cool down as much as I can. I just got back from doing a little bit of grocery shopping. I just wanted to get a few things at Trader Joe's for dinner tonight so we can make ribs and broccoli for dinny, dinner, excuse me. The broccoli is because Andy really hated the Brussels sprouts that I made Thursday night with a turkey meatloaf. So uh, this is a vegetable he'll eat. He's okay with broccoli. Um, so that's why I got that as our vegetable for dinner tonight. I also went to the farmer's market nearby, got a few items. First I had to get more figs because it's still fig season. I feel like I've had it the last three or four weeks I've had figs, but I really like the Peter Honey ones. They're very sweet. I did not like the calamari or catamari type that I had last week. I ate them, but I still love them. And then I got some culottes and some carrots. So this week I can do roasted carrots at some point. And it's so different when you get carrots from the farmer's market and they're short little ones and they're not like perfectly formed. And there are a fair amount of people with children there today. Whenever I kind of see kids, it reaffirms my <laughs> thoughts that I do not wish to have children in the future. <laughs> I've known that for years now, but uh, I'm pretty certain about it, especially like the, the more time goes on, you know, I'm 32 now and there, there are no plans for children. That is not happening. I love being an aunt. That is the most amazing, best thing ever, especially because, good news, my sister is moving back. Party time. Um, I've tried to not get excited and tried to be like, it might not happen, it might not happen, but it looks like it's happening. It looks like my sister and her husband and my two nieces and all their animals, the whole zoo, they're all moving down from Oregon. So I want it all to happen. I'm kind of like, don't get too excited, but I am getting excited. I think it's happening. So um, I can't wait. I want my sister to come back. I want to see the kids. You know, Mackenzie's five and a half, Liz is one and a half, around 18 or 19 months now. So I want to see the girls and celebrate Christmas with them and their birthdays and all the holidays and see them and watch them grow up. So I'm really excited for them to come here. However, in terms of children, that's the, that's about the best picture <laughs> is being an aunt who can spend time with them, give them presents, give them back to the parents, and then I can go home and nap and do whatever I want and sleep in on the weekends and do what I want after work and all the time. Just all the time, just do what you want, you know? I mean, there's like work and already commitments. So anyways, um, I am certain I do not want children. Andy's on the same page. <laughs> I thought that question might actually come up now that we're engaged and stuff, so. Um, yeah, we just wanna have a couple little furry kids, the two cats, eventually a dog. Um, I'd love to have a dog, oh my God, so fun. But we're gonna wait, you know, animals are expensive. You need to make sure um, you can afford everything they'll need, their vet care, or just all their stuff. So we're gonna wait a bit on that. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe after we get married and like have a ceremony and stuff, then we could uh, get a little pepperoni. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna put the rest of my groceries away. I just realized that I didn't really show you what I got at the farmer's market. Uh, these are the carrots, it's $2 for these, and it's so neat when you get carrots that are like a little bit differently shaped, or sometimes colored, these are just orange, but yeah, I got some carrots, I'll roast those. These are the Peter Honey figs that I love. And then over here, I got some pluots for us. This color is supposed to be very sweet. And then we've got some old peaches from last week that are ripe and ready to eat. So we need to have those soon. I did not buy more peaches this week. I've been crazy buying them all the time. So I'm like, okay, let's just have pluots. Um, I've still got bananas. I've got some other fruits and stuff around the house anyway. We're gonna take a trip upstairs and see where the kitty kitties are at. 
Here's our sweet little fit, the cat condo. Yeah, he's sitting on the top of it. He seems to really be the only one who uses it. And Andy just recently rearranged the cubes so that this, we're hoping it'll be used more often when it's up higher. Down here, we've still got the open spaces with pillows. If they never go in there, they never go in there. <laughs> There's that little toy. So Fig's the only one who really uses it. And when he does, he just tends to sit on top. So we're pretty excited even when we see him sit on top. <laughs> He's been on it for a while now because he was up here before I left for Trader Joe's. Yeah, and you're still up here. You haven't moved at all. It's so funny when you go out and run errands, you come home and the cats are in the same exact place. <laughs> oh, Fig, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. And then I'll go show you where Stitch is at. His birthday's coming up on Tuesday. He turns four years old. He's my big boy. Stitch. He's just been over here the whole time. Yeah. You're just hanging out the bottom of the bed with your fingers or paws all curled in like usual. You're a sleepy boy. You're a sleepy boy. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up, Stitch? I think I did. He's not ready to wake up yet. So many big yawns. Yeah. Yeah, um, maybe I'll show you dinner when it's ready and then, oh, the MTV VMAs are on tonight. So I'm gonna set them to record and I'm hoping they're good, but I think they're hosted by Katy Perry, who I don't love. I'm not into her too much. And I probably won't know who all the bands are because I'm not as, <laughs> in the loop about all that stuff now, but I still gotta watch the VMAs, so. And look who just had some dinner. Did you just have your dinner, Stitch? Yeah? You were licking your chops, I saw you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, happy yeah, boy. Our dinner is ready. We've got the ribs, broccoli with some cheese on it, and then baked potato with cheese and sour cream, of course. So, and then I also put some butter to the side, but I don't know if we'll need that. But anyways, ready for our dinner tonight. Well, we just finished up our dinner. It was good. Um, the ribs that I used, I don't think I told you which ones they were. They're the Trader Joe's ones that are already, where did I put them? Trader Joe's, fully blah, 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 blah. Those are the ones we used. <laughs> I do prefer the Neiman Ranch prepared ribs, but, um, those are hard to find. So anyways, done with dinner. I'm getting into work mode. I'm thinking what's coming up tomorrow? What am I working on? Um, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> the noises of having two people in the house. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you're doing well and that you had a good weekend and you have a good week up ahead. Bye.